Since I was a kid, whenever I see cute animals, like somewhere in my brain, it makes me hungry. Oh, um, oh you wanna so, eat like, these can? No, but like I see a cute animal. Hey Anna, are you ready? Hello, yes lady. Yeah, well welcome everyone. For those of you who haven't been here before, I've been doing um, sub battles with Anna Rudolph for a really long time. Um, and we're back at it, we're back at it. Um, Anna is an international master. She is a world-class chess commentator. She is one of my really close friends as well. Um, she started doing a lot of variety streams on Twitch recently. She's just like the most wholesome human being I know. So I'm that, happy that that is you. So uh, not true. The most wholesome human being is Alexandra Botes, and I have been missing you, lady, a lot. I know. I've been missing you too. I'm glad we're finally able to do this again. Um, yeah, good to see everyone. So Anna, do you want to tell the chat a little bit about how sub battles work? We are doing sub battles, which means first of all, you need to be a subscriber. We are recruiting team Botas and team Anna. So it's going to be Alexandra's team versus my team. Subscribers representing our team as best as they can. So now tomato strategy on my channel, tomato strategy. Wholesome tomatoes! <laughs> Wholesome tomatoes! We have a different system now since uh, Alexandra's channel absolutely is, is massive now. We are trying to, to find a way in which we can balance out that she has obviously grown so much on Twitch. I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of this lovely lady. Which side she is? Which side? Uh, well, there she is. I'm extremely proud of her. But it makes it a bit trickier to organize these sub battles. Remember which team is the better team? I think it's... it's it's like obvious uh, every time we play against Alexander's stream Alexander's team we crush them so uh, let's just bring on the usual thing uh, we gotta win we gotta win okay Anna so <laughs> what do, what do you want to play for well <laughs> anything you want to play for I know you have amazing dance skills Alex oh man so I, I'm I'm how about it's something where we, we we give the other person like three options of what they have to do? Fair enough. Yeah, I, I accept okay. that. I accept All right. That. Sounds good. So chat, when Anna and I usually play, we always play for like some kind of dare or something because we want to feel invested in the match. So if you don't perform well, you are punishing your streamer. And yes. if you punish me, I might ban you. So no pressure. <laughs> no pressure at okay. all. Great. I'm glad we got that out of the way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, so um, let me, let me, and if you throw games, I, I swear to God, don't throw games. Don't throw games. All right, the game has started. We have Zane coming in at a hefty 229 ELO versus Green Eggs 333. Anna, can you handle? We this can commentary. handle this. We can handle this, I hope. Um, I think uh, Black uh, is better because Zane is too scared to make their first move. Come on, Zane, I believe in you. <laughs> oh, the oh. game is aborted! <laughs> what happened to Zane? Zane, I, I know I've just told you that Rachel is amazingly talented and all, but please make at least a few moves. Seriously, please. please. <laughs> Rachel, you've got this. Zane is too scared. Zane is too scared. All right, Zane. There we go. He's coming in with E4. Anna, he's a bold guy. He makes the most popular move. Mm -hmm. E4 best by test. We call this Turk to E4. And Rachel goes D5 and H5. Interesting pawn structure, pawn formation there. I'm not sure I taught this, but I know Rachel learns on her own. And look at this. Look at this developing move. Bishop to g4, attacking the queen in case there's a Botas gambit. But you know what? Zane might be 229, but he still blunders less queens than I do. <laughs> and he plays bishop e2. So, like, honestly, he's a winner so far. Winner point of view, baby. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> now I understand why Rachel played h5. The whole point was this bishop g4 and tempting the opponent to, to sacrifice the queen in honor of Alex. 
I wonder what will be the follow up. Oh, e6. Yeah, we are we are strengthening the <gasps> Whoa, center. Whoa, he played f3 and green eggs freaked out and pre-moved. Uh, but I'm a little bit afraid about queen h4 check. Not really. There's g3, but it looks like green eggs is about to lose a bishop. Um, yes, this bishop is unfortunately trapped. It doesn't have where to go. Uh, so Rachel gave it up on f3. Uh, it's okay. We are uh, a piece down, but... I, I'm hoping for compensation here. <laughs> what is this game? This game is high level chess and please make sure to, to welcome your new grandmasters, okay? Um, this is PogChamps 2.0. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but very good play. Both players are developing their pieces. The knights came out. Castle by both players. Castling is not an easy move at chess and the, one of the special ones where the king and rook moves at the same time. So this is some high level knowledge by Zane and Rachel, I'm very proud of them. I think even though we are lacking that minor piece, the bishop that has been lost, we do have mm -hmm. chances because the knights are tricky pieces. We like the horsey, we have a horsey mode on my channel because we, we appreciate the horsey a lot. I like that Zane is actually developing his pieces, so he's up a piece. He's playing pretty quickly. Is he gonna develop his bishop on c1? Is he gonna blunder a piece? You never know, you never know. I believe in him though. Is he gonna take the pawn? No, he's gonna move it back, that's okay too. He was scared that Rachel was gonna capture the bishop on f3. I can understand that, that would have been a check. Checks are scary. But in this sense, now the knight on e5 is beautifully placed. I think that Rachel has got this. I believe in Rachel. Um, now we need to see whether she will go and develop the rest of her pieces, the major pieces, the queen and the rooks. Um, I'm just checking to make sure that my, my player is actually his rating range. Sure, sure. I can um, confirm that Rachel has just started playing chess and played her first games a few weeks ago. I think he's, he's in the... He's a new player as well. He's in the new player as well. I'm not gonna say anything. I, I'm not gonna say anything right now because this is... Uh, this, this, oh no, Zane, Zane has found it. Horsey goes, e7 check, and the queen. Chat, I wasn't rating shaming. I was just trying to say he's not a smurf. Chat, I, I'm just trying, because like, for example, if he was 229 and his highest rating was 700, that would feel a bit unfair. I wasn't, chat, I, I was just trying to be fair because he's playing so well. I was complimenting him. I was complimenting him. That was a compliment indeed, and Zane has found a really strong move. Now the queen has gone bye-bye because of the bonus gambit. So Rachel is actually a fan of Alex, and now we know. Now we know that Rachel, in honor of Alex, she has played the bonus gambit. But we have chances. Horsey, horsey is a tricky piece. Knight to c3. I have faith. And also, I mean, the clock situation right now. He's almost at. I mean, or Zane is almost <laughs> at one minute. So you never know what might happen here. Yeah, I think Rachel has got this. Uh, she's playing very fast and she's got two uh -oh, very Zane. tricky pieces. <laughs> Zane, you're gonna have to speed it up, buddy. You've been doing a good job, but it doesn't matter if you don't hand in your test on time, you know? You so can the, do it's the perfect Rachel. assignment, but if it's a week late, you're gonna get a zero. Let's go, buddy. No pressure. No pressure at all. Um, Rachel is in a tough situation because of the lack of the queen. The queen is the most powerful piece, so normally we would love to have it, the company of the queen. But um, there's, there are still tricks in this position, <gasps> I know. I forgot it's 3-2, Anna, because we, all, we yeah. often play 3 -oh. There's increment. Oh, we're chilling. I'm gonna sit back, <laughs> relax. Continue with your commentary, Anna. <laughs> I thought you realized that there was increment, uh, so flagging is not that likely, but it can happen. Oh, man. Okay, we've got that bishop on free. The knight wasn't taken. That's something. Horse is alive. Let, if, if we keep the horse, in, very good. Rachel moves it away from danger. Out of danger now. Mm -hmm. I would like to see him go for like some kind of mating idea, just because I'd feel you know more comfortable. But it's not about me. It's about him, and he's playing a very good game. <laughs> I like how you put it. It's not about me. <laughs> it's about him. Yeah. Rachel is collecting uh, pawns. I like it. I like that. Okay, there's there are threats around the king. Well, we we don't mind. We we don't mind. <laughs> okay. Oh, that works as well. 
we have some really nice checkmate ideas here. He's actually playing very well. Yes, but Rachel is fighting really hard too, and I think since we have captured that bishop and we have these pass pawns on the queen side, we do have some chances here. You really do. I mean, if we're not careful, you're gonna get a queen as well. Yeah. Ah! Yes! <laughs> Rachel has taken the- <gasps> And now, the tables have turned! When we have a new queen on the board, next move we have a baby girl! Rachel has got this! Rachel has got this! Yes! 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 Okay, now we just need to give mate instead of uh, stalemate. So checkmate is not the same as stalemate. We don't want stalemate, we want checkmate. Let's see, let's All see. Right, let's get a stalemate, please, come on. No, no stalemate, checkmate, checkmate. It's got to be checkmate. So big difference between stalemate and checkmate, uh, we will soon see. I, if this is stalemate, I'm gonna be so happy, no. No, Shoot. look at this, Rachel has got it, professional. Shoot. She, she's, she's allowing the White King, very good job, Rachel. Oh my God, I'm so proud of you, Rachel. C can I just say this was a pro ha way to finish the game, that she keeps the queen on E2 so that the king always has one square. Stalemate would be if White has no legal moves, but mm -hmm. there's a pawn here and the king can still move. So she just started pushing the pawn until it's made because the queen caused the king on the second rank and the other queen gives mate beautiful well you know what they say if, if you're learning you're not losing zane's not losing my team is losing but I, I, at least at least zane isn't um i'm just gonna go back to the one mistake he made just to show chat here uh it's it's a nice check it's also a free queen however so maybe a move like queen g6 trying to go for mate on g7 would have been preferred here but but we all make mistakes and you know in, in the future this is something i would keep keep in mind <laughs> to be fair uh, zane just gave back the favor since uh, yeah. rachel already has sacrificed the queen earlier and she's saying in the chat both this game before the win <laughs> And, and chat, one thing I want to say is like, it's chess is obviously a somewhat intimidating game to play and your, your game is being broadcast. So yeah. uh, please do not shame any of the players. Uh, that is my job. Okay. <laughs> <Kidding>. uh, <laughs> and it's 1-0 for Team Tomatoes. Okay, and the next game has started. Okay, so we got Hummus versus Arobo28. 413 versus 499. We got South Africa versus the UK. Indeed, um, Robo representing the tomatoes, hummus. Uh, I love hummus to eat, but I'm not gonna root for hummus in this game because Robo is from the tomato gang. I've just realized that today I dressed up as a tomato if we count the green screen as the green part of the tomato and I'm myself am a tomato with this dress on. Okay, so we just gave a free horsey in the middle here. Um... It's a little tough to see, but it's it's just a piece, right, Anna? I'm gonna show this moment because horsey goes bye-bye. We have a horsey mode set on this channel that should be used now. Horsey. <laughs> All right. Robo, I'm uh, so proud of you. Can we at least get our king castled off? A little bit, you know, of king safety never hurt anybody. <laughs> We are giving lots of checks in this game. The queen was giving a check and now the bishop is giving a check. Very aggressive and active play by Robo. All right, bishop d7. So we might see a trade here. And when you are down material, what you want to try to do is at least get some kind of... Any, any kind of attack going and hope that your opponent is going to make a mistake. So if Hummus can try to castle and go for it, it'll give him some chances, but objectively White is much better because White's already up a full horsey. Yes, uh, although from judging from the previous game, even a queen up is not that much. Depends on what happens at the very end of the game. So there's there's always a chance for a comeback. There's always a chance. Robo, you are doing great and now both kings have castled. We, we know about castling now. That's uh, the special move when the king and the rook swap places basically. Not exactly swapping but you move both of them and it's good for king safety because that means that you have these bodyguards in front of your king. Both players have done the same on different sides of the board. Definitely. 
And knight g4, I would have preferred bringing the rook to e8 just because the rook hasn't moved yet. Maybe it's a little bit more tricky, but I like knight g4. We're bullying that queen around a little bit, and I, I can I can lose that. The pawn has been captured on g7. I think that's a really good move because the queen was hanging and we don't want no bottom's gambit. This is hanging too as well, so looking good. Um, we'll just need to make sure that the rest of the pieces are developed too. So that's the only thing missing for now, but piece up for white. I'm happy. Um, I think my notifications are doubled or something like that. Oh, well, it's better to give credit twice than never. So I think double double credit is great. Right? There you go, chat. Five head Anna at it again. But there we go. We lost another piece. <laughs> <laughs> Anna is so nice to her community. I feel like... Like, a half the time, I feel like people who play my sub battles are just trolling me for all of the stuff I've said to chat in the past. And that's not okay. You're on a team. You're on a team. We keep the pieces. We gotta stop. We gotta stop giving them, you know? <laughs> Robo, you're doing great collecting pieces. That's free stuff. That's why we have a free stuff emote, too. I like to take free stuff myself. And Adam, welcome to the stream, too. Adam has been doing some amazing fan art for the Chessable Masters. Happy to see you here. Now, let's see what happens to those queens. We'll Will there be a trade? Will there be a trade between the queens, or will White retreat the queen? I'm not gonna say <gasps> anything. I'm not gonna Come on. say. One time. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you, a robo. It's really nice to have somebody return the favor. I mean, recipro. Oh my god. Okay, let's return the favor. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. 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 Okay, three pieces. <laughs> three pieces and the rook is trapped too. Three pieces plus the rook is trapped. So we are getting it. We will, we will have enough composition for the queen. So basically, Robo played the, uh, the Bottas Gambit uh, in honor of Alexandra. But um, you know that a queen is worth nine points or nine pawns. And we are now taking more and more stuff for it. So it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Yeah. Aqua, um, thank you so much for the subscription. Thank you for the support. Well, well let's let's I I don't actually 95 is such a strong move. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it, but but this is Oh no, please, please, please don't <laughs> Okay, uh, Hamas also has no time, by the way. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to do like a tutorial on how to well, I'm the wrong person to do the tutorial on this, but Anna, maybe you can do a tutorial <laughs> on how to not blunder your queen. Um, luckily for Homos, it hasn't been taken, so the queen was hanging. That's why both Alex and I stopped, because after 95 rook f8, the queen was hanging, so that was a bottas gambit. Fast moves. 10 seconds. We need to play fast. Don't flag Six, Hummus! Five. Okay, does, Hummus does is Hummus down time. realize this is a time game? I think so have three pieces so if we add up what robo has for the queen we need to make sure we don't drop more of those pieces but um a knight another knight and the bishop that's three times three a minor pieces were three points or three pawns so we actually have enough compensation go go no stop giving the queen yes counter bot is gambit like how how many times how, how many times does that queen have to be given away? Everyone on time! Yes! Yes! <laughs> to be fair, the final position is winning for white material-wise because white is two pieces up after capturing the queen. Congratulations, Robo! You're a legend! <laughs> You're a legend! Now, I understand that, you know, in, in this position, if our queen stays on her current square she's safe and you know may maybe we thought that she should venture into the outside world you know explore a little bit but we have other pieces as well thank you not blundering the queen um that was so close <laughs> queen thinks e5 was about this gambit and instead there was this f2 check which would have been really unpleasant if the pawn was here remember the pawn moves straight forward but attacks diagonally so this is a check and also the rook is hanging that would have been very strong for black but robo fought so well and robo took the queen on e5 and then white white has two extra pieces i'm really proud of you robo i'm very proud of my wholesome team your team is, is really really impressive um, thank you I, I, the, the thing is i guess i get suspicious that my team is trolling me but they're probably not but I, like i'm not 100 percent sure i'm not being trolled you know what i mean <laughs> I think this has been 
a really exciting game lots of uh, turns ups and downs this this is the show we are here for so you guys are definitely doing your best oh, oh, oh Anna, this is not the show i am here for. i knew wait 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 wait, wait. I, I knew that this is where we're gonna go i don't i, I would have maybe suggested like candid brain or something we are here for the show right everyone is here for the show Next up sure. is hashtag hashtag all the best. No pressure at all. See, we can we can just uh, play, enjoy the game, and then see what happens. No pressure at all. There we go. The game has started. Noise six hundred rating versus hashtag go. Who actually kind of looks like a stock photo of of Edward Snowden? Is that what he's going for? That's Shoot. not a stock photo, but he he loves photography and he does a no, very no, no. special type of photography. No, no, no. Okay. It was it was a small photo. It was a small photo. I was oh, okay. Sure. I was... <laughs> What's not a small photo is, is Noise's profile picture. That's more of a close up. Hey, I'm sorry, chat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. Well, it's good that no, you but... brought up. It's good that you brought up photography because hashtag does a really interesting type of photography. I keep forgetting the name because I'm very bad at remembering. Um, but it's. It creates a really special effect. It's like a slow. It creates light light effects in a in a way that it's photography. It's not post production. Um, if anyone remembers in the chat, what is it called? But light painting, light painting. Thank you, Kelly, for helping me out. A hashtag is really good at it. And uh, if uh, if things go back to normal, we may do a photo shoot with light painting. Alex? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. My chat is roasting me. Okay, they're like, "Wow, Anna knows so much about her subs and everyone, and you're in here like Mamma Mia or whatever." Not Mamma Mia. Um, you cannot blame Alex. My community is a very tight uh, fam family. Basically, we are a family. Alex has, Anna, has Anna, multiple. I'm gonna mute you if you keep making me look bad. Okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> I was saying that, guys. Alex is one of the most successful streamers out there no, no, she cannot no, no, she cannot no, no, keep no. track of every single person who follows her channel she is amazing she's brilliant she's she has worked so hard on her channel on her streams and she has grown to be one of the most successful streamers so stop blaming for for not knowing everybody's name <laughs> But you know everybody's name, Anna. Because we are a small community, we are a family. I cannot memorize 10,000 names either, or 100,000. You know what, I feel like Anna would somehow know all 5,000 of her viewers. Like, Anna is the kind of person who would write down notes in detail because this is what she does for every commentary event we worked with together. Like, I've what, never- What are you talking about, Alex? <laughs> this is my chanceable note. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, but it's impossible to, to know so many people and remember all the details, impossible. Unsubbed going to Anna. Okay, chat, let's move on. <laughs> Now about the game, about the game. I think this is once again such an exciting position. Uh, the White King is still in the middle of the board. Noise is noise is not afraid. Hashtag has castled. I like that. This this king is safer than the White King. And the Bishop on d4 is doing a good job protecting our post pawn. Um, and all I'm gonna say is like maybe if my chat saw blundering pieces, I would know their story as well. Okay, thank chat, you, that's all I'm gonna say. Thank Why you are we for down the subscription. A piece again? Why are we down a piece every single game? Hmm? Hmm? Well, I think they like to give us free stuff. They are very generous. So hashtag has taken that piece that was offered earlier. I'm gonna show that moment actually, cause uh, sorry, I, I wasn't showing the exact moment, but hashtag has taken the free piece at the very beginning. After c6, this knight was trapped. So this was a very, a very good combination where the knight it looks really well placed in the center. Normally it would be very strong there, but it has nowhere to go. It's gonna be captured wherever it moves. And that's how hashtag won a piece. Very proud of you, hashtag. I'm very proud of you too, Noise. If only <laughs> now we can come back from being a piece <laughs> down. And then I will be even more proud, Noise. <laughs> try, to, try to maybe attack attack the rook, you know, put, put some pressure on the F-pawn. I'm, I'm also, okay. I can be very proud too. <laughs> Yes, and guys, stop roasting Alex. I see that Rachel saying that your chat is, is 
currently going on about like maybe we wouldn't blunder if you cared alex cares a lot stop stop i'm i'm the representative of alexandra botes and i state that alexandra botes cares a lot about each and every one of you so start playing your best chess <laughs> Oh man, yes chat, I'm gonna get a twit longer from one of my subs who like played in my sub battles, you know? Oh, <laughs> I will say that hashtag go- oh no. Ooh, that bishop was protected by the queen, but this bishop was not protected. So that was a kind of questionable choice. But hashtag go didn't take the bishop, so this, this would be, you know, just a kind suggestion from the streamer to potentially potentially move the piece when it's not protected and under attack um even if it's moved uh, we are a piece up and this horse is standing very well on f4 so i understand hashtag wanting to improve the piece i i stand by a, a knight jump like that but yeah it's tempting to take a free bishop we'll see if noise moves it or not we'll see uh, may stand there may may stay on f8 <sighs> yeah he's not supposed to be listening chat don't listen while you play it's really distracting but he did move his bishop um, not the number one square, but still a good square. Now F2 is under attack by two pieces, so he has to play Rook G2. Um, which wasn't played, so now I wonder no. if this horsey... No, it wasn't played, yeah. Oh, horsey or Bishop, this is very strong. Hashtag has found a check, which is also attacking the Rook, so the Rook will be captured. Yes! It certainly will be captured, yes, um... We have now a rook up and the knight is giving a check. I wonder where the king will go. Okay, king, the king is trying to take the horsey, but horsey jumps and captures a pawn. We are doing excellent, excellent play by hashtag. <sighs> come on, come on, subs. I know you can do better than this. We have 48 seconds to 24. I believe noise is going to get a flag, okay? Ooh, are you predicting? Are you predicting 1-0? By flagging. I mean, someone has to believe in him. Come on, Noise. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. Oh, okay. We're trading off our pieces, but um, then there's... Ooh, yes. Hello. It's okay. Very nice. We, we are very still, nice. We are still a piece and a rook up. We just need to hurry up. Hashtag, we need to play very quick. Very quick. We need... Oh my God. Down to eight seconds. Seven. Hashtag, we need to hurry up. Yeah. Very good move. Very strong moves. We just need speed. Yes. Yes. Very good job. Very good. Not again. Every damn game we give up our queen. Well, we don't even okay. need it. <laughs> okay. We didn't take it because we don't need it. We can win this without taking the queen. Yeah, this is a winning position. Hashtag you can do it. Just speed, 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 speed. Yes, yeah, that's a good move too. We just need speed. That's all. Hashtag is winning. We just need speed. Yeah, um, okay, yes, so yes, we're, yes, we're yes. almost getting mated, but like, I, I do like that we're faster. Hopefully Rook F1, is, he doesn't see, good. So now we can we can try, we can try. The increment is gonna be a little bit tough, but he's he's playing pretty slowly. Yes, yeah, pass pawn, pass pawn. Yes, let's go, let's go, okay. let's promote that pawn. How do your players know how to pre-move at 600 rating? Like, <laughs> at 600 rating, like, our subs have just learned how to castle. Like, there's some dichotomy here between our subs' rating improvement and your subs' rating improvement. <laughs> To be, to be fair, I don't know how they learned it, but I saw that Rachel, our board 10 2, was saying the game that was uh, aborted, she already pre-moved her first move. <laughs> <laughs> they are really good at improving their skills. I think they must have learned the pre-move from you because I don't pre-move ever. <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you can do this hashtag. So mate with queen and rook. Yes! Beautiful. <laughs> Beautifully done. This is checkmate, ladies and gentlemen. The queen is protected by the rook. And because of the horsey, the king cannot step away. Very well done, hashtag. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations, Anna. That was another nice win. I hope you are not re not regretting the sub battles, Alex. 
Well, at least I get get to hang out with you, and hopefully your good influence will rub off on on some of our community here. Because clearly, I as the leader have failed. So you know, by bringing in outside streamers who maybe have like a, a more positive impact, it'll it'll help our community as well. You're doing great, Alex. You're doing great. Don't blame yourself. I blame your player now. <laughs> you are all doing great. The games have been ups and downs. Uh, we lost our queens in the previous games. So I think it was always three possible results. Bunny Fufu, we're not getting adopted. No, we are far from that. We are far we're from far. that. I'm celebrating how amazing my community is, but we are not celebrating results here just yet because this is still uh, quite quite far from the end. Missim at the same time has a very cute unicorn now that I like. <laughs> so we have a London here. Um, why why do they know theory at at 900? This is very impressive. I really don't know how they did it. I don't know. They, they just teach themselves, I guess. Just like the pre-move. Uh, they, they look up the lessons and uh, they, they improve in their own time. Because I haven't taught any of this. They're both playing theory here. Unfortunately, I think we just gave up a pawn for free. Um, but it's just a pawn and I think we can come back from it. Right? Uh, we'll see. Also, I'm curious if... Um... If it will be taken, will the bishop move away? If it moves, um, I'm curious what Missy will come up with here. It's it's important that we don't give free stuff. Okay, we have traded the queens. That's okay. That's all right. Let's see the follow up. Yes, taking the free pawn. Now that I like. We have captured the free pawn on e5, which is good. We like free stuff on this channel a lot. So white has an extra pawn and a pair of bishops. Now, a pair of bishops is something that at the beginner level isn't really a big deal. But when you see players who compete, um, club players, advanced level players and grandmasters, of course, uh, like the very top, they, they would find positions where the pair of bishops can be very strong now we are not at that level and we don't care about that so taking the horsey i think is really good because the horse is the trickiest piece so for beginners i i do think that a knight can be more useful because with the knight there are so many tricky moves that your opponent can miss you can win a queen with the knight with a tricky knight jump so i think on a beginner level the, the knight is more useful than the bishop oh my god it's so nice to look at a position and only be down a pawn instead of a full piece thank you so much thumb bum thank you so much <laughs> no this is actually fantastic um it's no, really okay. it's a position that meaning. could be that could be at any of the super tournaments including the chessable masters this could have been hikaru's game today against dingley ren this this position would be so normal to see at the super tournament Speaking that is, of that is true. Did, yeah, did, did you see? Did you see Alex? Uh, w what happened in his match? Like, because uh, he lost the first set against Ding, so he had to make a comeback today, and it was just insanely exciting. Hikaru's match. It was ups he, and, and downs. And he, came, and he came back right because he's playing Ding again tomorrow. Yes, but like the the first four rapid that ended in a tie, then the two blitz ended in a tie, but like wins back and forth, uh, crazy mistakes sometimes, of course very few moments, but there were some really big mistakes too, and then uh, Hikaru had to win the Armageddon with the white pieces, Ding Liren chose uh, the black pieces in the Armageddon so he only needed a draw, but Hikaru crushed him in the final Armageddon game, and there therefore we have a match tomorrow Okay, well that's that's awesome I know that um Levy, Chiu, and Aryan have been covering it on Hikaru's channel. Yeah. And you are covering it with um, Yasser Sarawan and um, Peter Svidler on Chess24, right? Yes. Yes, indeed. Okay. So, I mean, people are at no loss for options. Absolutely. We are in a time, an era of uh, online chess that has been just growing constantly. I think we are very lucky that we are part of a game and sport that that managed to thrive during these difficult times too. One of the few sports that, that managed to keep up with high level competition even in lockdowns. Yeah, I mean, look at the high 
high high level competition we are observing right now. Here, right um, here, right now. Oh, <laughs> yes, minus minus. I think. Okay, we just lost another pawn. I think it would have been nice if maybe we keep our pieces on the board when we're down material because now it's going to be even more difficult to try and, and tie this game. Yes, I like oh, yeah. this. Yeah. Three extra pawns. Um... And Anna, so I've answered this question quite a bit on stream, but um, do you think chess started booming now because of, of COVID and people not having other sports? Or what is your take on that? I think it was getting the close to that before too. I don't think it's solely the pandemic and that situation. Of course, it, it ended up helping. Like, unfortunately for... for like this global situation no one wanted it no one thinks it's it's what we sh where sh we should be like no absolutely but um one of the good sides of it was was what we have mentioned that chess was one of the few sports that that can still be played online at the very highest level so we have the world champion and the the world's best chess players competing online now instead of over the board tournaments but i do think that it, it it started growing before the pandemic. We already started having the esports type of competitions. Chess.com has been organizing a lot of those events way before uh, any of this happened. So I think it's a combination of those that it it started growing before, and then when when the pandemic happened, it was just like the final drop that helped make the boom bigger. I think. And, and my chat also wanted to add their input and they were talking about XQC and live stream fails. So actually having yep. a big figure in the Twitch community outside of chess who helped yeah. popularize it. No, absolutely. All the streamers uh, that came into the chess world uh, being being uh, streamers from variety streams, or they have their own, their own esports uh, fields. Of course, XQC is one of the biggest that uh, that has gotten into the game. But like, I'm always amazed when when Hikaru streams with with people that are known in different fields, including the Mountain from Game of Thrones. Like, I was like, whoa, the Mountain. <laughs> the Mountain is awesome. He is. Um, yeah. <laughs> we we had a really fun stream with him as well. Um, and we're trying to do another one where we mix chess and, and working out. We'll see if it happens, though. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. And you yourself, Lady, you have done so much for chess to grow. No, 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 I, I, I can't do it with compliments. So keep talking about <laughs> Come on. Alex no, has been doing hear, so I much. I don't want to hear anything nice about this. And you started combining chess with other uh, sport and games too. Like you were collaborating with poker streamers way before this whole thing started with the Pog Champs and variety streamers. Y yeah, yeah, but I was so like, I, I'm, I was too small to make a difference, you know. So it didn't really matter what I was doing. Like that's a that's a weird thing because like you can be a volunteer, kind of like a, a grassroots. But I I was small. It's not like my impact actually did anything at the start. But so. look at yourself now. You were small, but now it it all pays off. All that work pays off. Yes, it does pay off, Anna. It does pay <laughs> off. Stalemate. No, missing with two queens up. Two queens. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are learning now about the term stalemate. You want to give checkmate, not stalemate. Where can the king go? Cannot come here, cannot come here. All those squares are covered. It's black to move, but black cannot move. There's no legal move and black is not in check. That's why this is not checkmate, it's stalemate. Half a point for each player. Missive. That's amazing. I've never been so happy to get just one draw out of four games. I want to thank Missive for playing and for outplaying Thumb Bump. To have two yeah. queens up, that, that's just a completely, completely <laughs> destroying his opponent. And it was only this final move that took away the last square of the king. No worries, stalemates happen. As a kid, when I was starting out, I gave loads of stalemates. I gave loads of stalemates. I'm setting up the next game. I just needed to tell my chat that I'm proud of what just happened there. Aww. I'm... I'm glad that you're praising them. I, I'm proud of you for, for complimenting your team. No, I mean, I feel like I have that kid who was like held back like two grades <laughs> and like he finally, he finally graduated and we're, 
we're celebrating like elementary school graduation early. And <laughs> <laughs> I love how even when you praise others, when you compliment your community, it still comes out as trolling. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a joke. I'm yeah, killing you just get in the wind. <laughs> I've been missing you, lady. I've been missing you. Oh no. This is why they throw. I'm sorry. I'm joking, chat. I know we can do it. I know we can do it. <laughs> My community is wondering, by the way, Alex, if you know Yeast Can. Have you ever heard of Yeast Can? Yeast Can? Uh, yeast Can. So the name like uh -uh. Can, K-E-N, and Yeast like as of from like bread. It's a K -E -N? bread. K-E-N? Okay. Yeah, it's no, a what bread about it? dog. Um, if you if you Google Yeast Can, it it is an absolutely adorable creature. I think I don't know if it's from Japan, uh, but we stand Aww. yeast can. It, he's our new, he's our new charm, our luck bringer. It, just, it makes me a bit uncomfortable because since I was a kid, whenever I see cute animals, like somewhere in my brain, it makes me hungry. Oh, um, oh, you wanna so eat like, yeast can? It. No, but like I see a cute animal and like oh, like I don't think they look cute. I think they look delicious. I would, I, I don't like eat the cute animals, but like this, this is like really working on, on that feeling and it's a little bit weird oh to be honest well don't eat yeast can well you can worship i don't, yeast I don't <laughs> act on it it's just it, it happens in my head and i have to like I, ha I have to correct it like don't you ever see a cute bird and you're like no Alex, i have pet birds i love you had birds i was just gonna but say i never ate them like just because i felt like i am i am a conscious human who doesn't act on every thought i have even if you know I, I I don't act. Oh man, <laughs> Alex, uh, it, it's okay. Um, we we understand. Uh, th this is just like a hypothetical um, admiration towards yes, it, animals. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Exactly, exactly. But like seeing the dog shaped like bread is just. I mean, I really like animals, and I've always liked them. I always just thought. I don't know. I thought everybody had that because humans had to, you know, eat other animals at some point in our history. So I thought it was a normal thing until my mom told me it was a little weird. Oh no. <laughs> but like like you're not a vegetarian, so you're not saying anything outrageous. Um and you didn't want to eat your own bird when you had a bird, so you're you're fine, I guess. <laughs> I love you, Alex. Oh, thank you so much, Anna. I, I really appreciate it. I I also like uh, when we have more pieces than the opponent. It's not the case right now, but uh, Grillers is working on it, collecting pawns. That's that's good. Free stuff. Let's collect more. We are missing a piece. I don't know when it disappeared. I'm gonna look at it. We wait. Where where did I? Oh, okay. The knight had nowhere to go. The h5 knight and defending it was. An option, but it wouldn't have helped that much because G4 still traps the knight. So we gave up that knight on H5, but we have a few pawns for it. Um, not, not desperate. Not desperate. And I, can you just confirm to my chat that I didn't eat my bird? She did not eat her bird. Thank um, you. Alex loved her bird, and then one day her bird flew away. It was not consumed, the bird. No, and, and there's photos with the bird around the neighborhood. <laughs> Yes, and uh, Alex had selfies with her bird, and I can confirm that Alex had her bird in her hands, on her shoulder, and never had the urge to actually eat her bird. Thank you. Confirmed. Okay. <laughs> no, guys, just stop, stop trolling poor Alex. Uh, she may have just, um, you know, she, she was just telling us about about how cute animals are and then then she may have just misphrased what she meant like that exactly yes yes <laughs> you know i mean like why we we tell people they look like a snack when they look good why can't you say that okay i'm done i'm sorry, I'm done. <laughs> just, I was, I was, maybe. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry let's move on let's move on let's move on no no i, I... <laughs> what okay. I needed Nagi as a joke. <laughs>
<laughs> it's true that your first name was Nogi, but that's because it's a cute name, right? It's a cute name. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Guys, the bird flew away. Alex Alex had posted out in the neighborhood for her bird to be found. It was a very sad day when Nogi disappeared. Oh, it's called cute aggression. It's actually a thing. What is it called? It's called cu cute aggression. It's emotions a person feels when an extremely positive experience actually creates a reaction that's paired with something negative. So like when you see something so cute, you just need to squeeze it. Yeah, squeezing is fine, like a hug, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But that doesn't, that doesn't involve eating anything. So Alex wasn't gonna eat anything, any of the animals that she that she found cute. She just wants to give them a hug. That's that's exactly. how I feel about yeast can. Exactly. Uh, okay, great. Um, so in this position, we are actually up a. An exchange? No, we're up. We're up a night for for two pawns, mm -hmm. and we're up on time. Banana bread might actually do. Um, I'm a little worried about our time usage. We have 13 seconds left for Griller, so we need to hurry up. But very good job not giving up the queen. So the bottom gambit was a real danger. That was a real danger. Okay. Um. So this looks like a freebie. Let's see if he's gonna see it. This is a good move too. Um, actually might be even better because now he has a threat and he has a move next. Oh wow, Carlos. Yeah, exactly. I'm a little worried about uh, that bishop that has just been captured. Yes, unfortunately it's gone in four seconds left for Grillas. We need to hurry up, we need to hurry up because we're gonna lose on time! Okay. Missy, thank you so much up, for the subscription. I thought you were a material here. sub. You need to be a sub to play next time. So don't trick us next time. I didn't realize you weren't a sub. I mean, my fault actually that I didn't double check the badge. But thank you for subscribing now because uh, we we need the players to be subscribers. Um, we are two pieces down and uh, five seconds left for Griller. So I'm a little over it. I'm a little over it here. But we we've we've been through worse. Six seconds. Let's do it. This pawn has future. I'm. I have all my faith in that pawn on d3. Anna, have you ever considered being vegan? Yes. Um, I was vegetarian for a year. Well, pescatarian. I did eat uh, sometimes fish, but I tried. I tried uh, to only eat fish and and. Um, and just simply have a more fruit and vegetable based diet. Uh, I did like it. I thought that uh, I, I felt I felt really good about eating healthier, and it it was healthier. I thought, um, but I do, I do also find it difficult that when you travel a lot and you stay at events and you can't always just choose whatever you want to eat, or it may be just very limited. If um, like the tournaments we go to when we used to play on, well, Alex is still an active player, but at Places like the chest. Please don't Olympia. flag. Hang on, we're gonna flag. <laughs> Two, he one. Go no, he had a made it one. Okay, please don't flag. Okay, let's pre move. Banana bread, <laughs> please pre move. Pre please pre move. Please can we can we just start mo moving before we know what yes. Thank you. King 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 king. Go 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 go. Okay, I almost had a heart attack. I have Let's a lot of friends who are vegetarians or anything. vegans, but yes, this position I now is a uh, is more of an issue. We'll we'll get back to the topic of food uh but right now, it's 10 seconds versus 20. So Grillers has managed to collect some time. While Banana Bread is going down on time. We are a piece down as black. Uh, but we have fighting chances because of the time situation. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. 10 seconds, just move anything away. We're gonna lose the... Oh, shoot. This is... Okay, King F5, check. This is fine. We just speed, 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 amigo. Come on, Rook B5, let's go. Opa, take Don't the pawn. Speed up. We can do this. We can do this. We have won the knight. We, the horse is gone. One Doing more. Great. Uh, yeah, this is back. a very strong move. Come on, come on, take the rook. That's yes, fine too. Yes, this this was gonna win the rook. Luckily, it wasn't played. Yes. Now we can't lose, which is basically winning for me. That's a pity. And there's increments of banana bread cannot flag on this. Uh, they play very, very, very slow. This is a pity. 
Grillers has no been doing stalemates. great all the time, but uh, we don't have a piece. Stillmate, stillmate, please, stillmate, 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 stillmate. Just get the queen here, and then we, if the queen's on e2, the king can only go back and forth. We bring in our king, and we're happy. No incoming draw chat. You stop chuckling. We can do this. We can do this, guys. Also, we are playing the Wi-Fi gambit. I think Grillers dropped the, their internet a bit earlier, but we can still have an, a stalemate position. So stalemate is our friend. Stalemate is our friend here. Oh no, unfortunately with the two queens. Yeah, one queen cutting the king and the other giving mate. Congratulations to banana bread and don't worry grillers. This, this unfortunately, the end game was very, very tough to hold. Alex, congratulations. We finally got a win. Thank you, Anna. Thank you. Congratulations on your first win and, and Grillers, I'm proud of you. Really, don't, <sighs> don't worry. The time management was excellent, Grillers. You came back from having no time uh, to doubling it. You had way less time than your opponent and you managed to, to get it back. I was very proud of the time management and f your fighting spirit. 10 seconds versus 40 seconds here on move 39. I'm, I'm genuinely, I'm just, I'm proud. I'm proud of banana bread. <laughs> That was amazing. That was that really was close. amazing. It was a really close fight. Uh, Banana Bread um, was playing very well in the end game, but slower than Griller, so they both had uh, their chances. I'm very proud of that. Cat, I am excited. I just didn't want to talk over Anna. Jeez, you guys, can we can we be a little bit kinder here to your team captain, who is very proud of Banana Bread? Okay, be like Banana Bread. Winner point of view only. Banana bread, thank you for coming in and bringing us our first victory, okay? Aww. Um, Manark has the titles in front of our names, our chess titles. So, um, WFM, the title of Alex, that's a woman, Fida Master. Uh, I am, that's in front of my name. It doesn't mean I'm Anna, but I could also say I'm Anna, but I'm, I am Anna. I am stands for International Master. Those are different types of chess titles. And you collect chess titles by achieving certain points at certain events. So it's, it's a complex system, but it's supposed to reflect the strength of uh, the player. I'm really proud of all of you, really. So, so, so proud. You guys are doing an amazing job. We, This community is the absolute most wholesome and most amazing. And not just because you are fighting so well every time we play some battles, but just the overall team spirit, the overall wholesomeness, whether it's chess or non-chess, you guys are so supportive of each other. You are always there for each other. And that's what makes this community so amazing too, because you, ha you have each other's back. You have each other's back. Wait, you are Anna. <laughs> Who are you then? <laughs> Jesus himself. I am. I am. I am Anna. <laughs> yes, that's correct. What Hoffer is saying that uh, my title is the second highest uh, behind Grandmaster. So Grandmaster is the overall title. Um, that's the top, top, top. And then I am. And then Woman Grandmaster and Woman International Master and so on. We will be playing more sub battles if Alex is up for it. The problem is we oftentimes just end up being beating up Alexandra's team so I don't know if she will play more sub battles with us but the game is starting so all right gonna... Anna I'm back we are back with another and the game. games have gotten started Shaktos versus Kostad um this is a Sicilian very very theoretical line we're gonna be having on the board the time and a variation uh, and you don't need to know chess opening names if you're just starting out don't worry for not knowing their names it's all about making the good moves the right moves Costa's emote is so cute white pepe white pepe Aww. is one of my favorite emotes it's just Aww. so adorable oh that that is adorable so there was a check on these things this is still theory um that's that's how we see that these players already are over 1400 that's that's quite a lot in terms of rating that's already advanced level um how do you like these positions alex do you play these variations with any color i, I don't Bono, thank i you so I much for the subscription. been playing thank the sicilian dragon just kind of randomly um but it's okay it's a little bit boring we trade off pieces very early and I think for lower rated players, even though it's imbalanced and like grandmasters would find some intricacies here, 
I, I always find it less interesting to trade off so soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is yeah. an endgame position, so for those who would like more the attacking type of uh, positions where you can go for checkmate, this is not that kind of position. Uh, but I think... Uh, depending on the style this can be very enjoyable like right now there's a great move for white i wonder if uh, okay this is interesting too and uh, it creates a big threat so i'm not gonna spoil it just yet depends on what cost that plays this can turn out very well for white let's see come on come on come on let's save it <laughs> let's see christian that's awesome that's awesome that he drew with magnus okay uh, he spotted it so after rookie one the threat was taking the knight on d5 because this pawn is pinned you cannot make illegal moves at chess so this pawn cannot take back on d5 that was the threat instead of the rook move to e1 white could have also taken on b5 with the same idea if you take that with the pawn that rook behind it will be captured this is a pin too pins are really important for tactical ideas tactical motives they are called well i'm glad that kostad saw that threat and so, let's see, um, our current situation, you are up by two points. Mm -hmm. um, so if we win this, we'll only be down by one point. This is a very important game. It is important. I like White's position, uh, but it could go either way. So yes, critical situation. Uh, both players are still maintaining most of their time. Um. Anna, do you do a lot of advice streams, like where you talk to your community about chess or other stuff? Um, I think since uh, I haven't been able to stream with you that much lately, I wasn't that helpful in terms of chess improvement. We did, we did do a beginner stream, but it was just from episode zero, how to learn how to play chess, how the pieces move and checks and our first checkmates. So we did a beginner stream and we hosted some events for for my community where both beginners and advanced players can compete. We were trying to find um, tournament formats where you can compete even if you're a beginner and team up with more advanced players. Those I really enjoyed. We did the uh, hand and brain tournaments where experienced players were calling out the pieces and the begin... No, sorry, sorry. The other way around. The beginners were calling out the pieces and the more experienced players... Uh, were making the moves and in that way i think the beginners were learning from the more experienced players but it wasn't me coaching it was my amazing community helping each other and i need to get andrea to turn her music quieter she's so loud every single time sure I can I can. <laughs> sure we stand we stand andrea as well i can't hear her music though i i wonder which playlist she's listening to currently <laughs> Um, but we have on the board a very interesting rook end game. So it's only one rook each. We call these rook end games because apart from the king and the pawns, it's only one rook each. It could be one or Andrea two rooks each. Andrea is so loud, Anna. <laughs> so loud. I didn't hear her. I didn't hear Honestly, her. Honestly, chat, yes, maybe I should eat Andrea. As the bigger <laughs> boat does, I should just... We should become one larger being, okay? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It's a joke. Uh, she's fine. She's safe. <laughs> oh, God. oh my, my chat is uh, <laughs> just mentioning my community talking about the, the time I gave advice, um, relationship advice to Julie in our community. Uh, and I didn't realize that she was talking about Squidward from Spongebob, so I gave relationship advice to Julie with a fictional character from Spongebob. Uh, that was, uh, yeah, that was a highlight in my advice career. I feel like Squidward wouldn't be a fun person to date, honestly. <laughs> Why so, Alex? <laughs> I mean, he's boring, he's negative, he's kind of working a dead-end job. He doesn't really have any friends. He's a little bit like a loner, he's always there playing his clarinet. Um, I don't actually see him having any wholesome friendships also. <laughs> no, but there you have it, Chad. <laughs> there you have it. Squidward, not the best yeah, dating true. material. True. <laughs> I'm talking about Squidward from SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> I 
Chat, oh come on, you agree? Like, if you had to date a character from SpongeBob SquarePants, and I, and I know you have a boyfriend, obviously this is just like theoretical, who do you think is, is the best person? SpongeBob himself, for sure. But he's kind of dumb though. But he's cute. <laughs> Who's your pick from SpongeBob? In a hypothetical universe where we can date SpongeBob characters. Um, <laughs> probably Sandy because she's like really smart. Oh. She's she's athletic. She seems like a really kind character. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Sandy. I forgot I about Sandy. One. I forgot about Sandy. I, my, since I only know the main characters, I was just thinking like between SpongeBob and Patrick. Well, SpongeBob obviously and not Squidward either. So. Yeah, that that's a very good topic, Chet. You can elaborate on what would be your pick <laughs> from SpongeBob. Yeah, Chet, I, I usually keep Anna's name on, but I can put her her Twitch in case if you guys want to find her. Here we go. Oh, I should this also give a well. shout out to Alex. Not that you guys don't know her, everybody must know Alex. I'm just saying she's the best character, Chat. Relax. Holy smokes. <laughs> Heidi, thank you for that. Thank you for the host. Oh, this is a King and Poland game, which is super important. And Shaktus is going for it. Active King. The King is super important in end games, and White has managed to find a way to get into Black's position. And we will promote faster than Black. Very good job. Very good. No. Oh my gosh. Anna, in my Reddit, people posted a meme leading cause of bird death. And Hungry Alex is is the leading one right now. Okay, this is obviously not true. Oh no. <sighs> not to... Guys, okay. she had a bird as her pet. She had a bird. Don't, don't say she had a bird. Like, like the past tense just <laughs> makes me look worse. But the bird flew away. <laughs> but who's gonna believe me now, Anna? Who's gonna believe me now? I testify, Alexandra's bird flew away and was seen in the neighborhood, but never was yes. never man managed to be caught to be brought back to Alex. Oh no, guys, stop! Alex wouldn't eat any animal, and I, she wouldn't eat her pet. You no, know, maybe I'm gonna go vegan now. Okay. Oh yeah, we were talking about that earlier. Um, I do have a lot of vegan and vegetarian friends, and I I I do most of the time eat fruits or vegetables i don't eat much meat even if i'm i i am not a vegetarian anymore but um i was just saying that that's some at, when you compete at chess events and you stay at hotels you oftentimes don't even have the choice to eat whatever you want it would be very limited what you can choose from so it was very difficult to keep uh, being a vegetarian or pescatarian when when i was a lot of times abroad and it wasn't always um a possibility to to eat whatever I wanted to wish for. Chat, it's not cannibalism if it's a different species, okay? Get your definitions right. Oh man, I can't believe we lost this game. I'm sorry, Shaktus, um, that we missed the end of the game because uh, because of these other topics. <laughs> but this was a very well played King and Ponen game and promotion at the end. Turk has become a queen. Turk has become a queen. Why did White win? Um, because Black uh, resigned here, just down a queen and uh, enough time to win here, unfortunately. Ah, this is tough. This is this was a tough game. Um, so you've won now four games. We have one draw. So there's another four games left. We can still come back. It's just going to be tricky, but it's still possible. It is possible, but very good job, Shaktos. I'm very proud of you. And the, the team is doing an amazing job supporting each other in the chat. You guys are really wholesome and amazing as always. Yeah, chat, you're really wholesome and amazing as always too. Sorry, I'm, I'm stealing your lines, Anna. You can, feel free. <laughs> okay, I, I set the next game up. <laughs> I need to learn from you a bit more of the roasting because sometimes even when we do dares and I had to So in this sub battle too, one of us will have to perform either a song, a dance, uh, call someone, roast someone We always give each other dares uh, The thing is, the times I had to roast someone because I would lose 
these challenges, I did not do well because I have absolutely no idea how to troll people. Like I, I'm guessing it's, it's just not something I'm used to. But I need to learn from Alex. Like she's she's a grandmaster of trolling. <laughs> I don't know if Alex is back with us. Sorry, say that again. I, there was yeah. a notification and I didn't hear you. Yes, yeah, sorry. I was just saying that the the times I had to roll someone because when we do these dares and challenges. Imagine like, yeah, like the time I had to roll Danny Ranch or I had to just in general. I'm I'm so bad at trying to trying to roast or troll people. I need I need training, Alex. I need I need your skills. So you can steal my well, lines if I can steal yours. Here's the thing. Once you start roasting people, that's all your mind goes to, and it starts becoming a habit. And you think, okay, we gave a night for free. That's really upsetting. Free stuff. You think, oh, oh my god. And we. Oh, uh, sorry. I, I was saying when you when you. St Honestly, it's not my fault for roasting my team when this happens. <laughs> now, uh, second point I was making. It's really it's really hard to stop roasting people once you start, Anna. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully we are. Nicola told me the other day that I'm good at slow roasting. I don't know. I, I think I just try to poke people a little bit. Um, especially when, when I stream with Nicola. The Nicola Learns Chess shows that's on, on Nicola's channel. I just I just gently poke at the at some of those moments, yeah. But I, I never mean it. Of course, I, could, I can't roast Nicola. He's an amazing person. He has done so much for the chess community. And uh, he has been improving his chest a lot, so there's there's only good things I can say about Nicola. I I, I I agree on that note. But my chat is also right. They're saying um, there are no bad teams, only bad leaders. And you're right. I mean, I'm the one who decided to put this roster on the sub battles. Next time, chat, if you're interested in playing in sub battles, I'm going to need you to send me a receipt of the amount of chest puzzles you've done that week with your progress a written letter about how you are going to do your best and you are taking this very seriously. I'm going to take the decisions a lot more more professionally as a team captain, okay? <laughs> I like that system uh, of submission. Latin kiss the, with two extra pieces. We are enjoying the free stuff that we've been given and the very promising attack on the queen side against the white king. This is looking really good. Yes, I'm going to make it a form and you guys the people who are interested in playing sub battles, you can sign the form before before it begins. Ooh. MLA or APA? Obviously MLA. There's some counter attack here now with the F file being opened, the knight is under attack, so white is doing their best to, to try to make a comeback in this position. Yeah, I actually like it. It seems like we might be able to win the knight here. Um, King e6 is a strong move, but it's still a little bit dangerous. Yeah, probably was the only way to protect the knight, but it's a it's a brave move indeed. It's a brave move. Um, I think for now this is safe, uh, luckily for us. And uh, once again, it was just there was no other way of protecting the knight, and you can't move the knight because it's pinned, so that would be an illegal move. E4 is strong for white. I wonder how we react. Yeah, this is, this was the problem. Now the king has to go and leave the protection of the knight still we even if we lose the knight we will still have an extra piece and our king is getting safer after the queen trade yeah i mean your your subs are just playing so well i mean after this game wait i think if you win this game you guys win because you have you have five and a half hmm yeah if you guys win this it's over so um yeah. Ooh. Ooh, nicely done, Latin Kiss that now that's that's beautiful. A check and attacking the rook at the same time. That's a beautiful tactical motive. Well done, Latin Kiss that well done tomatoes. That is five and a half points, but we'll still play the rest of the games too, so don't worry if you're signed up for the team. Just because we are so strong that we already won the match, we will still have the rest of the games as well. Um, so, so, how do you want to continue this since, since we know that we already lost? We, we could play the rest of the games for 
just for educational and entertainment purposes. And in the meantime, if you want to choose what you would like to perform for us, Miss Potas. Uh. Yeah, I mean, I think I think we're gonna have we, we so we're gonna let them play out the games, or or you think it it doesn't make sense? So you, do you suggest something else? I mean, I, I think if you want, we can. Um, so I mean, we already lost. If you want to do like a side bet for the last three, something like oh yeah, no, absolutely. I I was just worried five, that... like five gifted subs or like something. Oh sure, something yeah, smaller. yeah. No, I was just worried that you didn't want those games to be played. I just want them to be able to play. But we can add an additional, yeah, some more stakes. I'm also happy to play just for nothing. I mean, I'm the one losing anyway. No, so, no, no. Let's um... let's put an additional stake on that. What would you like to play for? Why don't we do random number generator one to five subs for okay. these last three games? Sure. Because that, that way we can see what's gonna happen. Okay, let's do that. So a friendly, sure. friendly one to five sub bet. Yes. Yeah, okay. for the final three games and. Remember, tomatoes. We have already won uh, the first one for which Alex will need to perform something, and I think apologize to yeast can will be added to the one of the options for Alex. I see that's what my community would like to see the most. Seems fair. <laughs> I'll I'll do my best with the uh, apology. It could be a song for Yeast Can. You're very good at the spontaneous rap songs. I'm actually not very good, but I, I like that you're so kind to me. My chat really could take good. some notes. Now, Alex is amazingly creative and she can just spontaneously wing it. She has done it a couple of times already. But it, it's been terrible most of the times. No. Mm. Mm. Uh, you're too nice to me. Not true, not true. But I've been missing right. you, lady. The game is started. I, I, I honestly miss you a lot too. So it's nice that we're we're doing our sub battles again. And if if you think that the this uh, this is too much um, for your team to handle the tomato power, we can also stream next uh, time something else if you prefer. Don't worry. Chat. Anna feels so bad by the beating she's giving us that she just suggested not doing this again next time. She is pitying us, chat. Do you think she's Wait being a second. wholesome? Pity you pet. Five P pity pet. <laughs> roast. Pity pet, are you on this side for me on Slow your cooking. template? <laughs> Am I here on this side on your template too or not? I need to pity pet it, uh, you. You're pity patting someone else because I don't accept <laughs> pity pets. Wait. <laughs> I don't know which side I am on her template, but that was a pity pet for Alex. <laughs> she loves pity pets. She was here in Ireland with me in February. We were hanging out together and streaming every day. That was epic times and um, one could still travel. And uh, we had a blast. I, I miss those times. I hope that we get back to those... those um, Times, months, days. I don't know how how much oh, I, time I it will take. I, I'm also really excited. <laughs> Um, okay, so, so far in this game, we have another time in off Sicilian. That's exciting. Yeah, these, these opening battles have been, have been really high level. I, I feel like I'm just watching the continuation of the Chess of the Masters. Once again, this could, this could well be a Hikaru Ding match again for the high quality opening theory, how you play the middle games, the end games are very close to. Very good job. Okay, we're we're gonna we're gonna come back. We're gonna win this best of three chat. Although, why are we so down on time already? At least it's three two. Right? Hmm. Um, and Anna, you still have a subreddit that you've been checking, right? Yes, yeah, we have a really active subreddit um, that's dedicated to memes and fan art and other wholesome posts about the community. Oh, I really wholesome. enjoy you mean, you mean they don't use the subreddit to just roast the streamer? That's that's not what subreddits are used for? Chat, take no. notes, please. Continue, Anna. <laughs> no, um, a subreddit is a place where you can connect more to your community. You can oh. you can appreciate the creator by, sh uh, by showing them uh, your support, by sharing fan art, by highlighting some of the, the moments you like the most from the stream, by reaching out to others in the community. You can help each other out. It's a wholesome space. Wow, I mean... Those those sound like foreign words to me. 
I, <laughs> that sounds very different than what my experience has been here. <laughs> but that, that, that's cool, that's cool. <laughs> I'm I'm demanding your community to start posting more positive, supportive, wholesome content on your subreddit because Alex deserves it. Alex deserves it all, guys. Alex deserves it all. Alex doesn't teach us positivity. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, Ooh. I teach chat objectivity, <laughs> which is even more important. <laughs> <laughs> You're very critical with yourself though, so don't be don't be hard on yourself. You're an amazing person. You have done so much for the chess community and you've grown so much as a streamer. So I know no, you're right. Co positive comments make me feel uncomfortable. I don't know what, <laughs> why. I don't know why. I feel um, the same way about that though. Um, I, I don't I don't know how to react when I'm complimented, so um, I compliment others instead. This is a very nice position for white though. I'm gonna compliment the knight on d5. That's a beautiful outpost for the knight. Uh, I'm not sure I would have given up on that knight, but it, it also makes sense if you want to try to then attack d6 pawn. Okay, we have a different idea. We are coming here with the queen. Interesting. So we only have 48 seconds, which is my biggest concern here. I'd also don't love our double pawn or the fact that white is the only one attacking, plus the bishop pair. So this is definitely worse, worse for black and I guess every way really um this is not me being negative chats it's me being objective chess is an objective game uh but 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 we could still potentially you know re recover if uh we hold off the attack gain the time what is a subjective game i think art is a lot more subjective right so if you guys were showing me your art on stream i could be more subject subjective about it Fan art is you... amazing. Create some fan art for Alex. I I would like to see your fan art, guys. I would like to see your fan art. And fan art can also be if you have no drawing skills, it's still a fan art if you draw a stick man or a heart or a sun, just anything basic. That's also art for Alex. Just show your appreciation. Okay, well, Anna, I think if we lose like eight and a half to one and a half. Okay, I have Nicola playing, and you've been coaching Nicola, so maybe some of your coaching skills will rub off on him because Nicola has improved a lot. I know, and that's why that's why I'm worried that he is on your team. But I think he did that on purpose to help me because um, he played against Aman earlier. He has every Sunday adoption matches on his channel, and today he played against Aman and he lost the he lost the game. So I think he's not feeling as confident today, and that's why he didn't want to be on the tomato team. I understand that, Nicola, but. <laughs> You are very strong, <laughs> and uh, I don't want Alex to score on that board. <laughs> Twenty-five eleven. I have full faith in you, no. But uh, I cannot do it against Nicola. He's my only student. He's exactly. my only so actual finally student. Finally, we'll be able to get a win. Okay. Alex, uh, some some of the viewers are asking also in my chat where can they post the fan art about you? Will you let us know about your subreddit? What's the name of it? Uh, I don't I don't know if it's it's a subreddit you would enjoy. Uh, <laughs> no, do let just, us know. We want, to, we want to spread Botas positivity. Live. It's called Botas Live. There you have it. r slash Botas Live. Spread some positivity, spread some wholesomeness. If you want to show your support and appreciation to Alex, do post something on her subreddit. Wow! The, the top link post is just a roast. <laughs> we, we need some time uh, to get those positive posts in, so we we need some time. <laughs> You're gonna get there. You're gonna get there, Alex. Um, uh, what you may not get is another win in this sub battle because White is doing great in this game. Max slash, I'm really proud of that play. Look at the heavy pieces on the seventh rank being so powerful. Yeah. The knight cannot move away because then it's trouble here. Oh, but counter attack. Okay, Lee Burke is fighting back. <laughs> Good. Let's let's keep fighting back. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um... This is a sharp position because the white king is also wide open. Our, our king can be vulnerable, but white is now attacking the rook, which is protecting the knight here. Um, I mean, knight and rook are protecting the knight. Um, oh, this is super tricky, but now... Oh, the bishop has dropped with a check. Oof. 
Okay, maybe one of us, maybe LeBurk will be able to bring victory to the Botez livers. Oh, oh God. the rook is gone, but the bishop is also hanging. That's fine. Let's let's take that. Yes. Oh, Chekaruski, Chekaruski, Chekaruski. Ooh, ah, wrong Chekaruski. No, oh, now, now it is picking up the rook. It was not picked up, luckily. <laughs> Why are we not taking free pieces, though? <laughs> what? Can we maybe just one? So just, no? Okay, that's fine. Flora, that's happy birthday. I'm sorry if you one need more to time. leave. I'm... One, okay. That's fine. I just want to say to my community, I'm going to mute and myself when Alexa does yeah, I mean, that. You oh. know, why take a rook three times Whoa, in a row when you can the get board. checkmated instead? Beautiful checkmate by Max Slash. Uh, this, this game was so close. Black Black could have taken that. I, I, I would like to actually counter that and say, you know, these last 10 moves didn't feel like it should be close. <laughs> Yeah, Black was doing an amazing job, uh, and uh, that was a rook that was hanging on a7, and if the rook had been taken, we wouldn't have had checkmate, that's true. Yes, chat, Anna celebrates birthdays on her channel. She has a calendar with all of her subs' birthdays. But then um, again, you cannot have tens of thousands of birthdays written in your calendar, so Alex, she's, she's such a successful streamer. You cannot expect that from her, guys. Please, please, please have some objectivity. And uh, come back in two weeks when everybody has left a streamer who celebrates their birthday. <laughs> okay, Nicola, are you ready? Nicola versus 2511. Both of these players have, have been around for a really long time. 2511 um, used to be 1700. He's made huge progress. Nicola also went from 1700 to like getting to 2000. He supported yeah. like the entire chess community. And he's about to support our community too with a win. Good luck, Nicola. I'm counting on you. The thing is, Nicola is my one and only student. Guys, you know that I don't have time to give lessons. So I only have one student because we have a stream together with Nicola that's called Nicola Learns Chess. And I train Nicola on those streams. Uh, everybody else can only become my student if you get the courses that I have produced. I don't give private lessons, but that's why I have made courses on Chessable, for instance. That's where my latest course is. But having said that, with my only student playing now on Alexander's team, I don't know what can I do. Like, I, wh wh who am I rooting for here? Yes, the only way we can get a win is when we steal one of your students. I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm honestly fine with this. <sighs> okay, this is a, this is a very tricky line. Um, Nicola is very good at opening theory, but I think twenty five eleven has been studying a lot, also, even more recently. And uh, twenty five eleven won the second East Can Invitational, which was a very important tournament hosted on our channel. Well, chat, don't remember, we're doing a best out of three with the last three boards. We lost the first one, but Nicola is going to beat 25-11, so it's going to be 1-1. One, one, and then we're going to have a chance to win the mini-match, okay? Nicola is playing this very well. Um, I am not the biggest expert on this theoretical line, but I, I do feel bad for this king since uh, with the bishop on g5 cutting the d8 square, we cannot castle queenside. So we will go through the, the castling rules for uh, beginners when we have our next beginner chess stream. But one thing to note, castling is a move where the king would step two squares to the right here and then the rook goes to the other side you cannot cross check you cannot step into check you cannot be in check and you cannot cross a square that's that's covered by another piece so you cannot be in check ever that's illegal well i'm glad that anna has now explained castling three times and she's trying to do it under the guise that she's doing it for her chat when she just pities pities our players and uh, chat do you know how to castle yet do you know how to castle yet we we are learning how to castle, but you you guys can also learn Holy too. <laughs> okay, well, in twenty five eleven, his king is in the center of the board. He can't castle because of the bishop. Um, but how is Nick? Uh, Nicola needs to keep this attack up. Maybe if he moves his knight and brings his queen into the attack, that looks tempting. But he doesn't want to give the g pawn either. This is a very tricky position. Yeah, I, I'm really worried about that king. I think f5, maybe 25 was trying to get the king to f7. But it's it just feels really, really dangerous wherever that king goes. Um, since we cannot castle, castling would be ideal, but as we mentioned, that's illegal. Um, other than that, the king could try to come to d7. Maybe, maybe yes, that's all we have to do. I, I don't know where 2511 will go other than that. 
Okay. Uh, maybe... Oh man, this this is a tough position. 95, is that an idea? To trade off and bring... No, because you don't really... Hmm. I actually do like 95 taking and then maybe giving a check, but it's not so obvious, and Nicola is getting in a bit of time pressure. Yeah, um, but Nicola's really good at attacking positions. He's really good at dynamic positions, and his intuition is amazingly good for these type of positions, so I'm worried. <laughs> All right, so he does go for 95, mostly, I think, out of a lack of, of better options. Um, he's, as we mentioned, trying to activate his queen. He needs to be careful here, because if he takes with the bishop, then he's no longer keeping the king from castling. So the king did end up on d7. The king ended up here, uh, which I think is, is okay. It's better than on e8, because we step out of this pin on the e-file. And at the same time, we are protecting the bishop. So it's a brave king. It's a brave, but I think it was needed. And uh, we are we are back in the game. We we have chances because now the rooks are connected. This rook can be activated too. So I do think that as brave as it is, that king move was necessary. I I, I would just like one win. Um... And, and Nicola is always the horse I count on, you know what I mean? Not that, like, like when you're betting betting on horse, I'm not calling Nicola a horse. Um, <laughs> but it's an expression, it's okay. So the queen is under attack now. Um, we'll, we'll bring it. <sighs> you're doing well, Alex. You were praising Nicola because you know that he, he will always get the victory for your team. And but that, I understand. He wins so often. He wins yep. so often. And I still really like his position. And. Like, it's been one of those positions where you think he should win right away, and even yeah. though he didn't, he's still holding the pressure very well. It's true, it's true. Um, the time can be an issue though, and now it's 24 seconds left for Nicola, and only two second increment. My community is saying that your subreddit is dope, uh, they are having a blast reading through your subreddit. Are they actually laughing at it? That's great, I'm glad yeah. they're enjoying it. 34 seconds for 25, 11, 12 for Nicola. Uh, this is still a really sharp and complex position. <sighs> okay, so 12 seconds to 23. Um, but it, it's just so tricky to continue. Does rook take c6 work and then queen f7? He's going for it. Ah! That must have been a mouse slip. Oh no, that, that that was a mouse slip. I feel bad for Nicola because he had the whole tactical idea. Alex, you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm good and I'm chilling. But the thing is, this is such a clear mouse slip because Nicola took on e6 so that after rook takes e6, he has queen f7 check. That's where the queen was going because now with this check, he will pick up one of the rooks and, and white is doing really well. White is winning here after taking on e6 and then this rook will be hanging to and has a passport on g7. So this was Nicolas' idea and then he mouse slipped, which unfortunately happens in online chess. But he, he had the right idea. Oh, wait a second. 2511 is saying he wants a rematch. That's only fair. I mean, that seems like a... I mean, mouse slips are, are considered part of this. You know. But 2511 saying that, and I fully support his decision. 2511, you're a wholesome tomato, and uh, I do offer a rematch. Okay, yeah, let's 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 redo it then. Again, I, I don't like that general attitude, but but it seemed like both players wanted to continue, and I think uh, 9511, 2511 just wanted a rematch as well, which is fine because uh, I'm okay with that, and at least it will give us a chance, you know. Yeah, uh, of course we don't do this normally, but uh, uh, Nicola found the winning idea and then mouse slipped. So 2511 feels bad about winning in this way when he was already in a lost position. I I fully understand uh, that feeling, and uh, obviously, <laughs> I if if my player says that, I fully support it. And Anna's the supportive captain. Anna's the captain we all wish we had in our life. Look at me. Sure. Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. <laughs> and Anna, you used to be a teacher, so like that's why you're so patient and kind, right? I love teaching. I 
I still enjoy a lot uh, when I can teach, especially through videos or in the broadcast when I have the learning moments nowadays in, on the Chessable broadcast. Um, but yes, I used to work with small kids. I used to teach kindergarten and primary school aged kids uh, how to play chess. All right, in this position, uh, this is still a very solid opening position, but 25 11 is playing faster, so there's something to note. Okay, so bishop e3, and you don't want to, yeah, you want to trade because you don't want to let that ruin your pawn structure. Maybe bishop g4, just continue developing here, or knight g4. I mean, this is a very solid position so, fa so far. Mm -hmm. It really is. Uh, I, I think for now the only difference is, is the time management. 25 11 is a really fast player. But the position is very balanced. It's a normal Gioco Piano or Italian game, as it's called. So now Nicola goes for d5. Um, and the pawn on e5 looks like it's hanging, but the knight is actually pinned. So that's mm -hmm. not going to be the situation right away. Yeah, 2511 isn't going to go for the Bottas Gambit. This is a very important pin. Aaron, you are very kind. You're, you're very kind. I do love working with kids. It's sometimes challenging, but it was fun to teach uh, four and five year olds just in a sense that I also had to think outside the box a lot. And, and that's where I invented what I told you guys on the beginner stream that the bishops have boots. So the light squared bishop, we drew uh, white boots for the light squared bishops and we drew black boots for the dark squared bishop. And you can only move on on the same color as your shoes. You cannot step onto the other color, those kind of things. And with the night jumps to practice night jumps, we were collecting uh, chocolates. I, I printed out little pieces of papers that, that, was rep that were representing chocolates and you had to collect chocolates on the board. So uh, those, were, those were things I had to come up with to make it more exciting for, for little kids, how the pieces move and how to, to practice the piece moves. Um, we how is Nicola under exchange. a minute already, though? Um, under a minute, but with an exchange up. So I'm gonna go back to the moment where um, after d5, knight takes um, h3 and knight takes e3. I think 2511 um, maybe forgot that after knight takes e3, the queen is hanging, or he wanted to give up the exchange. Um, there's there's some compensation for it for sure. So, oh, and after g4, we are winning the bishop because it cannot go back. Uh, actually, no, we are not winning it. Queen d8 is a really good move. Uh, Nicola has, has just saved the bishop because now the knight is hanging too. Wait, uh, it's not fully saved. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to stop talking because I don't want to suggest moves. I'm, I'm going to stop. I cannot suggest moves. Yeah, this is a really, really tricky position. Lots of different things going on. So we got the pawn on f7, which is under attack. Um, and I know that Nicola and 2511 aren't listening. Uh, yeah, knight, this knight move was the one that, that can protect the knight and still the bishop is hanging. And now after knight f5, the bishop is safe, but the pawn will be taken. So this is a really, really sharp position. Okay, knight f5, get rid of the knight. Um, and now Nicholas kind of saving his position, so he doesn't have the weakness on f7 anymore. His king is a little exposed, but he does have that open h file he can play on. He does, and f6 um, helps now black to have a better strengthened pawn structure. Um, I, I am afraid <laughs> that black will go for the h file and start attacking the white king. Indeed. Nice. Although Nicola has to manage his time a little bit better. Both sides have been playing this very well. I totally agree. Um, so we have a rook for a bishop and a pawn. The rooks typically do well when the position is more open, but it's going to be really hard to try and open up the center here or open up the position without getting the black king in more trouble. I like c6. I think it just holds a couple squares, including the b7 pawn. This is such a close position that even though black is an exchange up, um, it's not that easy to win it. So I think both players have fairly good chances here. And the time situation will matter too, that 2511 has been playing so quick. The knight is very well placed on e4, and yeah, it's so difficult to crack this position because of the how closed it is, but queen b3 is a really good move, I believe 
for attacking two pawns at the same time. So b2 falls with a check now. Okay, queen takes c3. Um, Nicola is now up even more material. He's up a pawn and a rook for just a knight. But his rook on h6 isn't active. He's gonna have to bring it into the game and he has 10 seconds to minute 23. Mm -hmm. Oof, that's, that's a little tough. It is tough. So black has a better position here, but white has more time. Will we see? Will we see um, Nicola speeding up, collecting some time, or will twenty five eleven win because of the time factor? D four okay. is a discovered attack. Uh, rook e two attacks the queen again. Um, I'm guessing white wants to take here, but this will also be captured. Not an easy position for 25 and Nikola has been playing this very well. He has been playing this really well and on 7 seconds, only 7 seconds left for Nikola. Uh, yeah, how's, how, can you pull it off chat? 7 seconds? Hang on, we need, we need better music. <laughs> for Nikola, here we go. Come on, Nicola, five seconds. Let's Ooh, go. Ooh, a piece sacrifice uh, to then be able to take on e5 with a pawn. This is a bit of a desperate measure, but I think 25-11 goes for it because those pawns have potential. Maybe it's not as desperate as I thought because those two pawns do have potential. Um, this should be still really good for Black, but the Nicola is down to six seconds. Let's go, Nicola. There's a pawn for you, well, a queen for you. Now, <laughs> was yeah. that a mouse slip too or not? Anyway, I think the position is winning for black without the queen move too. So that wasn't the decider. That that wasn't the decider, but um, well done, Nicola. Well played. Oh, that was uh, that was just a blind spot. Uh, Twenty-five eleven is saying and he wanted to move there, but the queen will be captured. Um, don't worry, twenty five eleven. You have been you have been very generous offering a rematch and and this position. Oh wait, what what is it? Are they playing again? Wait, wait a second. Um, they can they can play again if they want, but that one is the one that counts, and we're yes. gonna move to the yeah, next the, game, right? We we appreciate that that both of you are so enthusiastic about playing. Nicola, by the way, you played really well the second game. Twenty five eleven. I'm so proud of your attitude and and being being just. So much of uh, a fair player, absolute sportsman. Um, I I really appreciate it. it. And you can keep playing. But do play a mini match, and we want to know how you did. But we will now move on to board one. Board one is Joe. Yeah, they're because they're playing for fun. That makes sense. Twenty five eleven. Let us know who wins. Let yeah, us know we who do wins. want to know. We do want to know. No, no, we're keeping this win, chat. I'm sorry, we're keeping this win, and we're moving yeah. on to the next. It's yours. It's yours to keep. The, there's no, there's no uh, doubt you, about Afro. that. Joe is our board one against Carlos, and that's the final game of the sub battles. All right, the game that's gonna take it all. So it's Nicola, one one in the mini match. Uh, we have won the overall sub battles, but we do have an additional one for gifted subs, and it's a one one currently. So this is the decider. Joe's game will decide. Yeah, it has just started. I'm very happy to hear uh, those of you who have started working on my chess of course please do keep me posted on on how it goes and if you think it's helping your chess oh wait he said he will not play in another sub battle of this game stands so nicola you want it to count as a loss for the first game or what <laughs> would you like to do i'm very confused but maybe they can play a mini they can play a third game and then let us know what happened and they decide the result like i i'm good with whatever they say but uh we need to now look at the game of joke since they started um okay well in that case nicola let's finish the game with um joe and carlos and then you guys can have your your third game after and I guess if, if Joe wins, then it's kind of a loss for us regardless. Um, but then if if Joe loses, then we'll just have the the tie breaks with you and 2511. Sure. Yeah, that makes does sense. That, does that seem fair? Let me know what you think, Nicola. Yeah, and uh, we don't want any of you to feel uncomfortable, really. We, we appreciate that both of you are are just so ready to play more and more games for, for our teams. Yeah, I mean, uh, to be honest, like I, I thought the first game was going to count and then the second one didn't, so I was just confused. 
2511 is protesting. It's it's about who is. <laughs> you both are so wholesome that you are giving more and more wholesome comments to the other. 2511 saying Nicola won. He outplayed me so hard. I don't deserve to win. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys are two sports. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna see this game. If Joe wins because he's on Team Anna, then they're winning regardless because they already have two points. Yep. Um, but if Carlos Calixito wins, what we're gonna do then is we're gonna have one more match between Joe, between Nicola and Twenty Five Eleven. Yep. All right. So that's that. what we're gonna do. Um, so for now, we can focus on the current game. There we go. <laughs> This is another exciting opening battle. I do like White's position, that White has more space, but uh, it's uh, it's what usually happens in the Scandinavian. So this was E4, E4 D5, that's the Scandin Scandinavian defense, current position being this. So in these type of positions, usually White has more space, but uh, it's a very solid structure for Black. So it's a slight advantage only for White, and it's not that easy to, to make it more significant of an advantage yeah this is a very closed quiet position so far although i do like joe's position better um why do i like joe's position better well he has a bishop pair a slightly better pawn structure his knight on e4 i don't even know if it does that much but he can play c3 at some point so he has a square back to go for his bishop Anna versus Alex. Did it happen before who usually wins? Well. <laughs> uh, those of you asking why the, the top two games matter, it's because we won the overall sub battle. So we have two things here. The overall sub battles, my team has won. We won that already a few games ago. But we do have a separate bet for the first three boards. So that's a mm -hmm. separate one for gifted subs. That's why it matters. Anya is an IM. So yes, yes, chat. Anna is an IM. <sighs> yes, chat. I know. Anna is a very strong player and a good team captain. And that's why we, that's one of the many reasons we, we like and respect Anna. I, I don't understand there the argument because Alex is an amazing team captain herself and an amazing Oh, they just person. meme. They just meme because I keep saying I'll get to 2300 and I never do. <laughs> on chess.com, I mean. You can. You have more rating on chess.com than I do. So you, you guys can say whatever you want about my title. That's an over the board classical rating. Online blitz. I'm I'm not good at online blitz. I, I've never had 2300, I think, on chess.com ever, ever. That's good. Wait, that's because you, you stopped being competitive and you went to doing commentary. So, like, if you would have played at your peak, of course, Anna would have been able to go far beyond that. But yeah, no, I mean, Anna's, Anna's focused on commentary now. And, it, yeah, Anna's been commentating the uh, Chessables Master event every single day. I think I think I'm, I wasn't good at online blitz before that either. I'm somewhat better over the board in terms of blitz because my mouse skills are hilariously bad. Alex, I bought a left-handed mouse. Big news. <laughs> I, oh. I, I'm not using it right now because I'm too worried to switch. So this is my regular mouse. The thing is, I'm a left-handed person that has been using a right-handed mouse um, with my right hand forever. I never, I never have been using my strong hand to to play or to do anything with the computer because I didn't even know as a kid that it exists. Everyone in my family is right-handed and I learned to play, I learned to use the computer with my right hand. The thing is, I can't even draw a straight line. If you, if I open paint and I want to draw a circle or a straight line, it doesn't appear the way I believe it will be. So wow. I could do it better with my left hand on a paper than how I do it with the mouse. And I wonder That's how- That's gonna be a huge difference. I hope so, but I don't know because how do I unlearn? Like, I've never used the mouse with my left hand, even though that's my strong hand. So I need to now learn to use it with the left hand. Huh. It's gonna be tricky, but I think that's my that's only chance. I didn't I didn't know. <laughs> that's my only chance, um, I think. Liam, yeah, you see coffee, you. coffee Man makes a good point. To be fair, can anyone draw a straight line in, in paint? Not really. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, did we just blunder? Oh no, because we take the rook. That's actually kind of a cute move. Queen takes b8, queen takes e1, rook takes, and then you take back. Nice. Mm. So Carlos is, is still up 
a full uh, pawn here. We'll, we'll take it. Yeah, it's up a pawn, but uh, white is active, so Joe has really active pieces, and it's opposite colored bishops. I think we have really good chances to to hold this, if not even Wait, turn yeah. the tables. We could we could turn the tables, perhaps. I like bishop before at some point, just solidifying the bishop there. The pawn and bishop are protecting each other, but it does seem like Joe should be able to hold a draw here. So this okay. is gonna be the decider. Oh, well, not not yet, but um, in case Joe wins, which is not that easy from this position, could happen with a with a big mistake. And anyone can make a big mistake here. They are down to their final seconds. Twenty four seconds to sixteen. Yeah, uh, I guess the king should activate itself at some point here. Eighteen seconds for Carlos. Seventeen seconds for Joe. This is a nail biter. Oh, that's a cute poll about the, whether you are left-handed or right-handed, my community. I, I appreciate that. I wonder how many of you are left-handed. And thank you so much for the um, subscription. I think, thank does you Rook so much eight, for the support, three work everyone. here? No, Them because six, there's bishop c6, eight. but then there's bishops. Can we try to go for the f2 pawn? A move like rook a2 is really nice, but we have to nice. deal with bishop e8. Oh. Woohoo! This is tricky. Counterplay. This is really tricky. Counterplay. Joe, very good job. Counterplay. There we go. Joe has gotten a lot better, honestly. Yeah, Joe is really good and has become faster because time has been an issue for Joe. As for me, I have my whole lifetime trouble. But uh, Joe has, and has managed to speed up, yes. And now by taking that pawn, and this is another pawn that he can take. Very good job. Oh, 80% of my community that uh, answered the poll are right-handed and 20% left-handed. Oh, interesting. I, I, he's, I like that Carlos is still trying. The problem is, so like, if we trade the rook on b2, we still can't promote. Okay, so it's a pawn up for white, but it's black who has a, an, a very advanced, strong passed pawn, the a pawn. 10 seconds left for Joe, we need to hurry up. Oof. Fine, chat. I'll make you guys a poll too. Are you happy? <laughs> Jesus. Okay, here you go, chat. I made you a poll. Are you winning, son? No or yay poll? I'm needy. Congratulations, <laughs> chat. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> That pawn is gone too. We'll need to give up the bishop for the A pawn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. So this is actually. Uh, I mean, it should still be a draw, right? It should be a draw, but uh, with only a few seconds left on the clock, anything can happen. Objectively, it should be a draw. <sighs> <sighs> Oh, we also have a new poll now. Are you winning, son? <laughs> no. <laughs> Yay, poll, I'm neat. <laughs> well, <laughs> I wonder what was the inspiration for our new poll. <laughs> Aww, see, chat, we're, we're teaching Anna's chat as well. So I think if they're going to just trade off... Is there <laughs> yelling? I can't no. hear it. Yeah, I think it's going to just be a draw. Which means that you win the top three. Do I? Yes, because it's, it's a draw. It's a draw. Oh, no, a draw means it's tied. Sorry. Which means that we got the tiebreaker with yeah. Nicola and 25-11. Yeah, that's what I thought, because only in case Joe had won, it's when the tiebreaker doesn't matter. So yes. we do have a tiebreaker. Yes. I think it's fair that 25-11 and the Nicola will be back and 25-11 is very happy that uh, that he can play again against Nicola. Um, Nicola, good luck. No mouse slips. You've been playing incredible chess. I was sorry to see the mouse slip. I Thank believe you. in you. Nicola, you are the person who can get us a win today. No pressure. <laughs> so this is the decider. This is it. The tiebreaker. And at okay. the same time, I think um, my community will need to decide what are the three options we're going to give you, lady, for your performance. 
So please chat, suggest uh, suggest performance options for Alex. One of them will be to apologize to Yi Scan. Now that is for sure. <laughs> or it can be apologize to Yi Scan as a rap song, um, as a poem. Uh, you can you can you know give it a bit of a variety of candidates. Okay. So that's one of the options. Oh, and a wholesome tomato song and dance. I I approve of that too. We have we have our community song, which has its official dance choreography, very elaborate one. I can teach you the the dance, Alex. And my chat said, "What about apologizing to her chat?" <laughs> <laughs> to my chat, we haven't done anything. No, no I, I, I'm oh, your own okay. chat. Okay, now I get it. I was like, to my chat, no, but to your own chat. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, <laughs> we can give they you. Wanna a... be, they want to be wholesome tomatoes too. Oh, yeah. we can give you that option. <laughs> we can give you that option. That's no, okay. I, 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 I... <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh man. This is still a okay. really theoretical position in the Nidorf, which Nicola knows very well with both colors. He he does know very well the Sicilians in general. Alright, B3, so Nicola doesn't want to allow the knight to get onto C4. The only thing is that now he's pushed pawns on both sides where he can castle, so he's created weaknesses. He's gonna have to be careful about it. Yeah, this vision um, is really strong. Yeah, but I, I'm down for whatever you... Uh. Sorry, I was I was uh, cutting you. Um, I was just looking at this bishop on g7 after the long diagonal has been weakened by the pawn push b3. I do like this g7 bishop a lot, but we still need to finish development. We still need to do something about our own safety too. So I get I guess as soon as 2511 castles. Nicola is gonna start marching his pawns forward. He has to be a little careful. He can't just push h4 right away because g4 is hanging. But this is a, a very double-edged position. I wonder if my board is updating though, because I don't see any new moves from 2511, or he's just taking his time here because it's a difficult position. Yeah, castle king side. But at 2511 was considering whether there's gonna be too much going on against the black king, so that's why he he was taking his time. Alex, let us know about let us know about the recent updates from your community. I can't handle this. Chad is being super sensitive today. Why? What happened? They're all sad. Why? All sad. They didn't get their poll like your community did, and now they're sad. Oh no. This is this is a tricky position because Nicola is ready to launch a pawn storm on the king side to start attacking the black king here on the king side, but black is doing the same on the opposite side of the board on the queen side. Who's gonna be first is usually the answer to who's gonna win the game. The faster your attack, the better in opposite side castling positions. Are are they getting a new poll from you, Alex? They're gonna get Gachi and a poll so that they calm down. Oh, What was the poll? Are you left-handed <laughs> or right-handed? See, chat, I care. We have a new right, poll too. Left. <laughs> we have a poll okay. about do we support Alex's chat wanting a poll? And the answers are yes and yes. <laughs> there we go, chat. You have a poll. And, and there you go. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to put ambidextrous. That's okay, my bad. Don't worry, we also didn't have it. It was just left or right. All right, this pawn has become vulnerable. The queen is hanging and the pawn is also, so... Can we get some wide pepes, please? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, what are the three options we give to Alex? Because after this game, that will be performance time. So we have the Apologize to Yeast Can, we have the Wholesome Tomato Song and Dance, and the third one. What will be the third one we add? We, there have been some really good suggestions, but we need to decide on one. Um, and, and we could also pull the suggestions and just do the one that's most popular. Okay. Um... 
But in that case though, do you want the poll on your channel or my channel for your performance? Um... Or, I, I guess we could see at the end. Hmm. Well, yeah, let's figure it out after this game, actually, because I feel like I, I haven't focused enough and they're actually playing a really good game. That's my yeah. bad. No, so, me too, because I started giving uh, uh, just out the order that we need a performance for you. So sorry to 2511 and Nicola for not focusing on the tiebreaker game that much. The pawn is gone from d6, so that was a very good job by Nicola, getting that uh, vulnerable pawn. Yeah, so they had 24 seconds each, very even position, not even position, but like both sides have a lot of chances here. So Nicola has to take care of E4. Uh, can he be pawn grabbing? Because what happens when the A file gets open? He's going to have to run his king away. Mm -hmm. um, it's a good question. Um, the king will be able to step out to D2, not, not likely to come to B2 ever because this is a monster bishop. Right. And now, okay, rook d8. Uh, and now next? what are we doing? Oh, now this is trouble for white because... Uh, oh, still knight d3. Okay, I, I'm i seeing ghosts because I was worried that Nicola didn't have an escape from there. 9 seconds left though, so this is a complex position and only 9 seconds. This was hanging, knight c3 attacks the rook to chase it away from the second rank. That's a good move, very good move by Nicola there. Come on, Nicola, 6 seconds, a little bit more speed. This is good, putting pressure on the knight. Yeah, and these three is protected. There's it. nothing to do. Yeah, uh, 2511 is in trouble because of this pin. There's no oh no, he's gonna protecting. flag. Oh, he just he just saved it, but he's gonna be down a full yeah. piece now. He's still fighting though, because there's not much time for either player. Piece up for Nicola, um, and this should be should be winning. Question is how much the time fact can change. Uh, if there are any tricks now with that check and picking up the No, okay, rook f1. This is good. This is good. There's nothing to do about this, but actually, I don't know if we should have given up the full piece like that. This is tricky again. Rook f king f2. Ooh, that was not good. Oh my gosh. 2511 is back in the game. This this has turned again. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oof. Oh no. I thought Nicola was for sure going to win this one. He got swindled in the end there. Oh man. Um I I don't even know how the how the the rook this oh it was oh that was that was a very unfortunate uh, end if that was a, a mouse slip instead of rook takes e7 but Nicola was a piece up. Uh, the two of you have been playing these battles against each other 2511 and Nicola. It has been super exciting to follow because the positions were extremely sharp, lots of dynamic ideas. Um just playing it until the very end on the Chat, final few seconds please be supportive for nicola thank him for playing and for for putting in his best effort yeah nicola you you played really well and 25 11 you fought so hard also in bad positions chat? you fought well chat please please be nice seriously okay you can meme your streamers but you are nice to the community okay we also have a Nicola emote because he has helped so much. So if you want to show him some love, please do. It's okay, Absolutely. Nicola. I, I know you tried your best, and it was a really tough game. I thought you were gonna win it at the end, but like I, you know, I've I've slipped similar positions. So don't worry about it at all. I'm gonna oh, use I'd all my Nicola the cheer. emotes. It's not necessary though. Don't worry about it. I have loads of Nicola emotes. I'm gonna be spamming them in my chat. Nicola, you've done an amazing job at 25. And I'm I'm so proud of. Uh, both of you really such a good fight sportsmanship and just you guys were ready to keep playing and playing and playing thank you for doing that well i'm gonna do a random number generator for the subs and then we'll do the other punishment too <laughs> all right so it's between one to five i'm about to do it yeah and oh actually... no what <laughs> You got a one, Anna. I'm sorry. That's okay. It's a random to number. Redo it. No, Alex, stop. <laughs> we have a new poll, which is we're both Nicola and 2511 amazing, and the options are yes and yes. Very now good I'm job. hearing gachi and music that isn't gachi. Chat, you've made me lose it. I don't know what music is that. The gachi. Um, I need to learn more about what's trending. I need to learn more. 
Uh, that's one you might not need to know. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it, there's like so many Twitch memes and I feel like I've been getting just like a Twitch meme education these last couple of weeks. But that should be useful. Actually, my community just start, started um, also discussing this Rook game, and after Rook takes e7, Rook takes h3, it is black who has Wait, winning chances at the very end. Rook takes end. h3? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I thought after king d4 it was already better for 25-11, um, right? Yeah, so 25-11 fought his way back into the game. Obviously, before that, with a piece up, Nicolas' position is winning, but with the, the time scramble, it just turned inside out, upside down, and this final rook end game, only black has winning chances in the final position. But other than that, it has been just so, so exciting. My notification is broken now, but that was Miss Bot is gifting a sub to the community. I'm sorry it didn't show on the screen, but that's Alex gifting a sub, and it went to Erfa. Thank you, Alex, for the gifted sub, and we should give you now three options. Jeez. Um, yes, let's, so. let's get the three options for what, what the punishment is. Yeah, 2511 and Nicola played so well, and they've made such serious progress. Um, I, 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 and I know that Nicola's putting time into his chest, and so is 2511, so I'm sure they're gonna get to 2200. They're gonna get to 2200. 2300 before I do. I can't let that happen. Oh, sorry, language. <laughs> How should we punish Alex? Paul is up. Number one, apologize to Yeezken. Second, tomato song and dance. And third, rap song about the sub battle. Let's see. Let's see. I wonder which one will win. So far, the tomato song and dance is leading. Okay. Yeah, the hardest one is leading. Why am I surprised? <laughs> I don't think it's the hardest because um, the the dance is literally like six steps, just doing this the whole time. I don't think people realize that this that's the easiest. It's okay. it's a very basic dance. So do you have a link to the dance? Uh, I'll teach you as I made it up. <laughs> it's my oh. dance. All right. <laughs> and it's a very it's a very basic one. It's really so basic. Okay. They are Chad, thank nice. you for supporting Anna, the nicest human being in this call. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, that's not true. The way you put it, absolutely not true. <laughs> I mean, you, actually, everybody. true, but... No. No, you just <laughs> It's hide. not difficult, though. See, it's not difficult. No, but the thing is, guys, what you don't realize is that Alex is an extremely wholesome, amazing person, but she hides it. See, she is not showing how much she she appreciates you and she she's so grateful and she wants the best for all of you. She just she just hides it with the funny trolling. She roasts you as her love. That that's how she shows her love. She roasts people. She always also always roasts me. I, and she she loves me a lot, so I can tell you that's how she expresses her actual appreciation. I absolutely agree, and my chat is just the most wholesome. I love them so much, and I only roast them because it's the only way I know how to show affection, not yeah. because I'm actually, you know, not not liking my chat or anything like that. So I, I totally agree. I totally yeah. agree. Yeah. Absolutely. And on that note, Alex will perform the wholesome tomato dance for us, which is a super simple one. Well, we're gonna enjoy it. <laughs> Okay, all right, let's... But this is what Alex will be doing. Uh, you do a wave... Wait, I'm gonna go further. You do wave one side, then wave okay, the other the side. Thing. Okay. And then this, 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 this. And, uh, okay. and then again. Ain't nothing in the world that I like better than bacon and lettuce and wholesome tomatoes. Up in the morning, out in the garden, get you a rap one, don't get a heart. 
Plant them in the spring, you eat them in the summer. All with them about them's a culinary bummer. I forgot all about the sweating and digging. Every time I go out and pick me a bigger. Wholesome tomatoes, wholesome tomatoes. What will I be if I wholesome tomatoes? Only do things the money can buy. That's true love and wholesome tomatoes.